Basic Motions of Taekwondo Sogi In Taekwondo refers to various stances where the feet are planted on the floor to attack and defend. Stances can be largely categorized by the position of the feet. Apart one foot in front of the other, the knees bent, the knees unbent, standing on two feet and standing on one foot. The important thing here is the name Dikubi. In stances where one foot is in front of the other, right and left is differentiated by which leg is in front, but Dikubi is an exception to this rule. In Dikubi, if the left leg is in front, it is called Oren Dikubi, and when the right leg is in front, it is called Wen Dikubi. In the Nolpyo Sogi, stand with your feet about a step apart. This is to stand in a comfortable width to promote agility in movement. Also, when standing in an open stance with the legs apart, use right foot as the access and move only the left foot. Narani Sogi. Move the left foot a step to the side. And at this time, make sure the blades of the feet are parallel to each other. Keep your knees straight. And put weight equally on both feet and stay centered. Wensogi. Wensogi starts with the parallel stance, not on hisogi. Do not move the right foot, and turn the left foot outward 90 degrees. Keep your eyesight on the end of the left foot. Turn the body 45 degrees to the left naturally. Orensogi is the opposite of Wensogi. Start with a parallel stance. Do not move your left foot and turn the right foot outward 90 degrees. Juchum Sogi. Spread your legs about two steps apart. The blades of the feet should be parallel to each other. Keep the body straight, bend your knees. And don't allow the knees to go over your feet. Do not move your shins, but flex. And keep the muscles tight. Bum Sogi. Keep your feet together while keeping your legs straight. Turn one foot about 30 degrees. And step out with the other foot. Keep your weight on the foot behind you. And don't let your knees go past the toes. Lift the heel of the foot in front and lightly step with the ball of the foot. The knees should not spread apart. Lastly, hold in the lower abdomen and keep 90 to 100% of your weight on the foot behind. Opsogi. Opsogi is like stopping mid-step. Stand with one foot in front of the other, with your feet about a step apart. A step apart means the distance between the heel of the foot in front and the toes of the foot in back, which is about a foot or a span of a hand. Keep both knees naturally straight and distribute your weight evenly on both legs. Keep your body straight and face forward. it. 
앞구비 Keep both feet about a step and a half apart, one foot in front of the other. Keep your toes of the foot in front facing forward. And bend your knees a little until your toes are invisible. Turn the foot in the back so the foot makes a 30 degree angle. Straighten the leg and put about two thirds of the weight on the front foot. Align the blade of the foot in front and the inside of the heel in back. The distance in between should be about the size of a rolled fist. This position increases the amount of exercise. Dikubi. Start with a closed stance and as one heel as the access. Turn your foot outward 90 degrees. Then step forward with the other foot. Then straighten your body and bend your knees to lower the body. Keep your weight on the foot in the back. The crook of the knee should be about 120 degrees. The leg in the front should be bent a little. The angle of the shin and the floor should be about 100 to 110 degrees. Moasogi. Keep your feet together and keep your knees locked. Hakdari's Hogi. Lift one foot like a crane. And place the blade of the foot on the inner side of the other knee. And bend your knees and lower the body like the riding stance. The lifted knee should be facing forward. Ogumsogi. Start with the crane stance, but place the blade of the foot on the hollow of the other knee. Apkoa Sogi. This stance is used to move quickly sideways. Draw one foot over the top of the other foot and place on the other side. And lift the heel of the other foot. Place your weight in the foot you have moved. The shin and the calf must be touching and the space between the feet or the knees should not be widened. Rikoa Sogi Put one foot forward and the other should follow closely behind. The foot in the back should support the center of your body. The shin should be closely attached to the calf and stand in a cross stance. Kyotari <laughs> Sogi. Step forward with one foot and put the other foot beside the blade of the foot. Lift the heel of the foot in the back, straighten the ankle. 
Only the front of the foot should be touching on the floor. Your weight should be on the front foot, and the other should only help keep your balance. We have so far learned the basic sogi techniques by changing the position of the feet and keeping balance. Now you will see the special pum stances. Pum refers to the final pose of a taekwondo technique. Kibun Jumbi Sogi. From the Moa Sogi, move your left foot a step sideways and put your palms facing up. Lift your hands up to the solar plexus under the belly button and slowly make fists and turn them face down. Distribute your weight on both feet. Place both fists in front of the lower stomach, hold in the stomach. The distance between the two fists and between the fists and the stomach should be about a fist apart. All Taekwondo moves start with a Jumbi shout and end with the ready stance Jumbi Jase. This is the most basic Kibun Jumbi Sogi. Kyopson Jumbi Sogi. Start with the attention stance while keeping your feet in the moa sogi. Put your right hand over the left in the shape of a cross. Keep your fingers together. The distance between the hands and the body should be the size of a fist. The torso, line of vision, condition of the mind, and breathing are all the same as jumbi sogi. Bojumok Jumbi Sogi. Put your feet in the Moa Sogi. Cover the right fist with the left hand. And lift them up from the solar plexus to the chest. The two hands can be placed in front of the solar plexus, chest, or face. Start with the knot on he sogi. Open your hands with your fingers and thumbs together. With your palms facing up, pull your hands up from the solar plexus to the chest and make your palms face each other and push them forward. Turn your wrist toward your thumbs so that the fingertips point upward. Straighten your arms until the crooks of the arms are 120 degrees. The distance of the hand blade should be about the width of a face, and the fingertips should be at filtrous levels. 